Hello and welcome. Here we're talking about the associative property, and the word associate uh, means grouping, right? So here, with parentheses um, and groupings, we're dealing with the associative property. What do I mean? Well, the first choice, x plus y plus z equals x plus y plus z, that's the reflexive property. That tells you that anything must equal itself. So x plus y plus z must equal itself. That's the reflexive property. Here, choice two, this is the distributive property. I'm going to write d property. Why? Because x times y is xy, and x times z is xz, and we're adding the two, so it's the distributive property over addition, right? So here we're multiplying x by both y and z. In choice three, this is the commutative property. How do I know that? Well, it's the commutative property because the terms x, y, and z are changing order. So z is first and x is last. And we know that if we change the order of terms when we're adding them, then the sum does not change. That's the commutative property. Now, that, that leaves our answer choice 4 here, but let's look at why it's the answer. So we can say here that we can group or associate x plus y first, get that sum, and then add it to z. Or we can find the sum of y and z first, associate those two terms, and then add that back to x. So if we're just changing the groupings, that's the associative property. And of course, those groupings and the way we group them won't change the total sum. Thanks.